Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the TBS Stardust SB5 Pro 5 inch racing frame. At the first glance this frame doesn't look very exciting, however it's pretty unique. It was designed by Oscar Rodins and it's manufactured by TBS and today in this video I'm going to go over its features and specs, build it and head outdoors to test it out. Unlike most of the traditional carbon fiber frames, which are made out of carbon fiber sheets, which are glued and pressed together, the unibody button plate of the TBS Stardust SB5 is made out of molded carbon, which is much more durable and also not flexible, so according to TBS, the quadcopter should fly better and it's also going to be easier to tune it. The SB5 is available in two versions, so you can either get the race version which costs $65 or the pro version which is the one I have which costs $90 and the differences between the versions are that the bottom plate of the pro version is coated with a special material that will give you a better finish and it also comes with titanium screws whereas the race version doesn't have the special coating and comes with regular aluminum screws. Except these two differences, and of course the price difference, the frames are identical. In terms of specs, the dry weight of the frame is 64.9 grams, so it's extremely light. The thickness of the bottom unibody plate is 4.5 mm. The width of the arms is 10 mm. Its wheelbase is 200 mm. The distance between the right motors and the left ones, and also between the back ones and the front ones, is about 14.2 cm. On the bottom plate you can find 30.5 by 30.5 M3 mounting holes. The distance between the bottom plate and the aluminum plate at the lowest point is about 25.3 mm. And finally the SB5 supports only micro-sized FPV cameras. Now I'm going to build the TBS Stardust SB5 and the parts that I'm going to use are these very beautiful iFlight Zing 2208-2150 kV motors. The iFlex XX 60A 4-in-1 ESC The Fierce FPV Race Speed Flight Controller And I think because this is going to be a pretty tight build It's recommended to use flight controllers such as this one Which will enable you to mount the receiver and VTX on top of them So you can see that over here I've already mounted the TBS Crossfire Nano Receiver And the TBS Unify Pro Nano VTX and finally, even though it's going to be a pretty tight build, I decided to use the Runcam Split 2S HD FPV camera and I really hope that I will be able to fit it inside the stack. So now I'm going to assemble everything together and I will see you in a bit in order to show you the result. Okay, so now my Stardust SB5 is ready and I don't want to brag but I think that this is my most beautiful build and of course this beautiful frame and motors have a major part in achieving these results. The total weight of my build is 312 grams which is pretty light considering the motors and the Runcam Split 2 camera that I used and you can make your build lighter if you're going to opt in for a normal micro FED camera and lighter motors. Since I've already tested this quadcopter, I can tell you that it just flies great, these motors feel very smooth, and the quadcopter feels very locked using the default beta flight tuning, and the flight footage you are just about to see is practically jello free. In case you are going to build a similar setup, you should note that if you are going to use the Runcam Split 2S camera, you are going to need to change the camera lens in case you don't want the side aluminum plates to appear in the HD flight footage, which by the way I cropped, and you're going to be limited with the camera angle to about 30 degrees. In addition, if you are going to use the TBS Nano VTX, make sure that it gets enough airflow because after about 2 minutes of flight, it got hot and I start to see lines on the FPV feed. Now I'm going to show you the flight footage. As always, if you have any questions about the build, the frame or any of the parts that I used, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. 
See you on my next videos and goodbye.